Yes, CF family, we're here with SK London with another interview for you guys. How you doing, bro? Bro, I'm doing good, man. Well, I um, yeah, obviously you know my name, SK SK London. My stage name. My name's actually Safe. Um, yeah, I grew up in North North London, and yeah, man, I just I've been doing music for like maybe like three years or so, maybe four if I'm stretching it. But yeah, man, I'm I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm just um, yeah, I'm just um just on my on my pathway you know yeah essentially now sk um tell us a bit more how you started music and how you got into music three four years ago well well back back in the day i guess it just it started off with my with my my mum kind of just playing music in the car i guess just like coming back maybe from swimming something like that maybe just from the park then we'll go home by car you put on some radio and you i'll always be the one to be like just singing and stuff in the car, I'd be the only one. And I'd just be vibing to the music like all the time. And then um, I guess there were some parts of my of my life when I was younger, maybe like when I was like 11 or 10, when I started to really feel the music and I really wanted to be like, oh yeah, maybe I do wanna, kinda wanna do what they're doing, you know? I kinda wanna sing, I wanna be on stage, get inspired by, by people like, when I was younger, I was listening to people like Ed Sheeran, people like, people like that you know for like singers like yeah. Adele and all of that see when my mom would play in the car I don't have to vibe to you but yeah I don't really have a say in which what songs to pick so <laughs> yeah it's what it is yeah, but but yeah man it's, it just started when in primary school I actually just decided to be like you know what let me just let me just go on stage they had a talent show thing and I thought let me just go on stage and let me just perform and um, essentially that's what happened so my first ever ever song that I perform on stage um, was at my primary school was I was actually singing like not even doing the sort of like the UK like kind of scene I was just doing like a, um, It was some X Factor one called James Arthur and I was doing I was singing impossible That was the first ever one that I was singing. I thought I was I was really bad, but at the same time I enjoyed myself. I, I felt it felt right being on stage being being on that that kind of yeah But yeah, man, that's, that's how it started and then eventually it just it grew into something more like then in the same maybe like year six that was year four by the way so maybe like in year six there was another talent show and i was like you know what yeah i had the good good feeling last time i won't do it again so then yeah i had my thing i did my thing and um i think i was i was actually rapping this time and i was singing as well a bit of both i was singing um, see you again by uh yeah, Wiz khalifa and uh charlie poof yeah that's the one and um and yeah, that's 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 essentially how my my I, like, I came up kind of from from music. You know, it's just the proper like singers and the big time artists and that, and that's how I came up, I guess. Growing up in North London, what inspired you to do music? To be honest, to actually get into actually writing it myself and start recording, I guess it was just this thing where it kind of branched from primary school up until secondary school where I had that feeling that I had before of just like the rush of like being on stage and, and doing all of that. And then I was thinking, you know what, I kind of want something that's creatively processed from me, that, that I made, all of it. And um, and essentially the, the enjoyment of writing something down, say something to do with my life or something, um, kind of, my, my younger years is kind of what inspired me uh, to kind of get into uh, actually recording and actually doing things like writing down stuff, yeah, and just just being in the booth essentially. So SK, what's your family background like? Uh, so so my mother is Lebanese. She grew up in Lebanon, born in Lebanon. And um, my dad is um, Syrian. So yeah, there's a bit of Arab culture there. You know how it is, and uh, yeah, essentially that. And how's your relationship with your father? Yeah, I mean, like, at the start it was kind of a, a, a tad rough, but um, in the end you start to like get to get to know as you grow up. You start to bond, start to have like a relationship, especially like growing up in UK and him growing up in like somewhere like Syria. Um, obviously, it's two different places. You you come up differently, and uh, yeah, that's that's how you work on relationship like that you just gotta build talk and all of that but um but yeah he he had it he had it a bit a bit more rough than me though so he he was in syria and 
um, he's all about the hard life. So he came up when he was like 14, and um, he left home to provide for his for his family, and uh, that just inspired me to like do more here. So yeah, he left when he was like 14, and he went to go work on a ship, and like he he he, he knew the mechanics, started learning, started to know the ins and outs of the of the, of the business, and. Um, Essentially, he, he turned out to be like one of the top crewmates on the on the ship after a while after he come up, um, and and yeah, it's funny because the way that he came off off that was uh, he kind of just skipped. So so what happened was he dropped off at at the US at one point, and then he just kind of had an idea or had a plan. So. What he did was he just asked his boss for money and just skipped, just left left the ship without no one noticing. Took a taxi, started going down all the way to like places like New York and stuff like that. Built up built up his money from the ship and that and just started living in the US. And that's essentially how he met my mother and that. So So yeah, I respect that a lot and that's that's another reason why I want to be so successful. It's just because of him and because he he came all this way. For me to, for me to be born, and for me to not do nothing, you know, just like um, it's a sad feeling, and I don't, want, I don't want to feel that feeling. So, um, being someone more than that, successful, um, it's a real goal for me, and um, and yeah, that's essentially that.